We've obviously not got the best weather for this litter pickup up Scarfell Pike. We've got litter pickers and bin bags. The safety brief is brief, all right. Thank you very much. Let's go pick some litter. Because there's work to be done and a mountain to climb. Thousands, tens of thousands of people climb this every year. Off up England's highest peak, Scarfell Pike. Yeah, it's a huge pressure. Um, we saw last year what happened after lockdown. It's fantastic that loads of people are coming to the national parks. You know, it's really important for everybody's well-being, particularly after lockdown. But the impact was that people were leaving huge amounts of litter right across all the national parks and beautiful countryside in the UK. So the lakes, like every national park, now bracing themselves for those who will come and won't take their rubbish home. Moments later, we meet extreme litter-picking legend, the Wasdale Womble. She climbed Scarfell more than 200 times last year, clearing rubbish. I've got plastic bottles, glass bottles, banana skins, chewing gum, cigarette ends, three wrapped dog poo bags and assorted stuff, tissues. And that's just in one day? That's in a day. So the team sets about the mountain, one of more than 60 such missions from Friends of the Lake District, over the past two days. So the lakes, like all national parks, are facing something of a perfect storm. People, by and large, are no longer going abroad for holidays for obvious reasons, so they're converging on areas like this. Even now, at the summit of Scorfell, they're finding plastic bags, they're finding sweet wrappers, all the usual culprits, a pair of spectacles, and several bags of dog poo in plastic bags, really. Scar fell, a fell scarred. Rubbish even here at the summit. Plastic's just everywhere. We're on the top of a mountain. Yeah. This is mad. Yeah, um, yeah. You just, you just look behind a rock and you'll find something. Across the lakes as across Britain, this problem is literally river deep, mountain high. It's the kind of day that makes you feel really, really happy until you come across this. Cumbria's lakes damaged by a new phenomenon, fly camping, like fly tipping. Thirlmere last year, food, camping equipment, drinks cans, nitrous oxide canisters, all left. So you thought Scar Fell was the extreme end of litter picking? Well, try this. Right. Windermere last weekend. Diving, yes, diving for litter. It is a much bigger problem than anyone actually thinks it is. Um, and especially because we're track, uh, focusing on the point of out of sight, out of mind. So obviously nobody can see it, but that doesn't mean it's not there. Free divers without oxygen enter first. And the cleanup begins. They're then joined by a scuba team. And hour after hour, they pile it up. A golf club. Spectacles, a golf club, a toaster. It is a toaster. It's a toaster. Yeah. A casserole dish, a wine glass, endless odd socks, and bottle after bottle, can after can. Now, to reach this area from the car park, you have to pass eight litter bins. We don't want rubbish in there. This alternative end of pier show for tourists, designed to get people to come. Well, that's an umbrella. An umbrella, yes, well spotted. To look, to think about what we're doing, even to our national parks.